Hi everyone, Vince with Boomer Electronics here. Hope you're all having a great day. So I got a PS1 here. I recently bought off of the Shop Goodwill auction site. And I thought this one might be worth making a video on because of the description here. Item is not working order, does not load, interest stays stuck. If it's staying stuck on the Sony logo, this is going to be interesting. If it's staying stuck on the uh, black PlayStation logo that appears after that, then it's not going to be interesting. You won't see this video. So uh, let me load it up and see what happens. All right, got the PS1 hooked up to my monitor here. Got a test game rally cross inside of it. So let's see what it does. Huh, I don't hear any audio, that's weird. And it's stuck here. Ah. So this may in fact be interesting after all. Let me reset it and make sure I'm not hearing any audio. Confirm, no audio. Um, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with my setup. Let me just start it with the lid open, just to make sure it still gets stuck there. Oh, again, absolutely nothing. Let's try it again. Okay. Oh, this does look interesting. Oh, so it actually... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, let me pause it and grab a music CD. I want to see if it'll play audio CDs. Okay, I'm back. I had to grab my one audio CD I happen to have in my car. Don't have any other ones that are readily accessible, apparently. Go figure. Okay, so... Oh, and I also need to grab a controller. Oh, yeah, I got one right over here. Uno momento. Luckily, I got a controller right here. Just plugging it in there. Okay, so let's see if it'll play the audio CD. Might not even be able to read it, which would be unfortunate. Let me see. Uh, is this a laser doing anything? It's just, it's not tracking at all. Mm. You know what, let me grab a cotton swab real quick. So I'm doing this mostly to see if uh, I can unstick this in case the laser here is stuck. Because it should be trying to seek moving up and down. Figure I'll also clean it off with a little rubbing alcohol while I'm at it here. I have had one or two of these before where it just kind of, this just gets stuck and moving it around. Kind of gets it working again. Okay, let's see if we get anything. No. Oh, that was also interesting. Let me see that. So the laser like stays on for a second after I let go of that. Okay, uh, interesting. So right now we have no sound playing on the startup screen. And the laser is not recognizing the disc whatsoever and it's acting abnormally because it's not even trying to seek. So yeah, this, uh, this guy's got a few issues. Um, I think I'm gonna start by replacing the sound processing unit chip because it not playing those startup sounds, uh, that's indicative of that chip being bad. So I think I'm gonna swap that out first and foremost 
and see if that also addresses the problem with the laser not seeking. I decided to uh, check the capacitors on the board for their ESR values before I swap that chip just because I figured if I do get this working, I'm gonna to wanna to change any capacitors that look like they're starting to fail anyways. Anyhow, these uh, six over here that I marked all with red, these are all 10 volt, or sorry, uh, 10 microfarad 16 volt capacitors. Uh, let me make sure the ESR meters on the shot. Uh, maximum ESR for these should be about eight. I will usually replace them if they are twice that value, so about 16-ish or so. Here's the values we're getting on these, if I can get this all in camera here. Let's see. Over 50 ohms on that one, that is horrible. It's excessively bad. This one's 108 ohms, very bad. Um, I'm not going to show you the rest of them, but yeah, they're all extraordinarily high. So I'm actually going to replace those six capacitors. I'm curious if that's what's causing this to sometimes hang during boot. Like we were seeing, um, I'm pretty sure the SPU chip on here is still faulty, but I'm just going to start replacing those and see if we can uh, get the steadily boot. So yep, that's the next plan of action. All right, got those six faulty caps changed out. Partially reassembled for testing. No disc in it right now. Let's see what it does. Still no audio, which is expected. I'm pretty sure that SPU is bad. Let's see if it gets past the screen. Doesn't look like it. it looks like it's stuck here. Let me open up the uh, tray, try it again. Okay, so we do get past that screen when the lid is open. Let me see what this uh, the disk drive is doing when I hold down the sensor, the lid sensor. Yeah, it looks like no change there. Okay, so changing those caps doesn't look like it did much. It might have uh, stopped it from not booting at all, which you saw on camera before. Um, but it still looks like it's doing the same thing uh, besides that. 
So yeah, I believe the uh, next step is to swap out that SPU. That looks like it is faulty, and we'll see how it looks after that. And I should also mention I do have a parts PS1. I believe the, that chip on it's faulty. I believe that's a CD-ROM controller chip. Um, so yeah, I'll just uh, get the SPU out of this one and put it in this one. SPU chip swapped out, partially reassembled for testing. Don't have a disc in right now. Let's uh, see what happens. Oh, we got sound. Oh, that's good. So it went to the uh, menu with the lid closed, which it wasn't doing before. Let's see what happens when I hold down the lid sensor now. Huh. It's acting weird. Huh, okay. I don't know, maybe it was just stuck or something. Seems like it's most pretty much acting normal there. Okay, so let me actually go ahead and throw in a uh, game. Throw in Rally Cross, see if this uh, laser will read it. I mean, there's a chance this laser doesn't even work, but let me reboot it. I can hear the disc spinning. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like we got a working PS1. So yeah, the uh, main culprit was just that SPU chip was bad. 
And the reason I could tell was because we weren't getting any sound at all in the intro. And when it's uh, starting up like that and you're hearing no sound, it usually means your SPU is bad. Also, this is an old um, 1001. I could tell from the chip that came off it. Um, I, I think I mentioned it while I was uh, taking the chip off. I should add a text description mentioning it, but that chip that came off is known for going bad. So yeah, there were, there were a few obvious hints that that was the problem. And yeah, that looks like it was it. So I'm gonna test this a bit more off screen and probably get an X station in it once I confirm everything's working. So yeah, it looks like we're good to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope you learned something. And if you got any questions or anything, just leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Take care.